That's okay. You can do that if you want. There are loads of cameras around here, so I'm going to try and... Oh, crap! The cameras are suspicious, but I am too quick. I am stealthy like deer. Da, 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 da. Oh crap. I've been detected. Access granted. Yeah, just make sure you hack everything. You can get quite a bit of XP for it. Got some enemies over here. I'm going to go ahead and take cover. It looks like there's two enemies stood next to each other. If I had the augment that could uh, do a double takedown, that'd be amazing. Because you can do that. Why is he shooting? Is that for me? What's he looking for? Proof that these fuckers are lying to us, I guess. Just like Zeke said. Get shit on. These guys are just too fast for me. Oh, look at this dude. He's reloading. Quick. Alright, that went well. Every combat encounter is tense because you don't have a lot of health. Probably should upgrade that. I'll get the dermal armor upgrade. I want a combat rifle though. I was kind of hoping someone would have a combat rifle. Don't prove me wrong, game. If I can't find one in this level, I know exactly where to get one though, so it's no big deal. Okay, let's just have a little bit of a wander. Just want to see if there's anything worth looting around here. Probably not. Maybe in this room though. Stun gun darts again. I love how I was saying that ammo is quite rare for stun gun darts, but I keep finding loads of them. <laughs> All I'm saying is that when I first played through the game, I tried to use stun gun darts and uh, go non-lethal, but it didn't really work out for me. It's just not really my playstyle, I'll be honest with you. I'm a stone cold killer. Non-lethal just ain't my style. Ooh, a praxis point. I'm going to take that. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, I'm going to save it, actually. Because there is something else I want more. Which costs two. So we're going to save it. Let's go through the vent. Let's change it up a little bit. Because there is a turret there. And I don't want to get shot by that. Because they can kill you very quickly. See, there's the turret. And now I can just sneak past undetected. Step away from the console. Now! Son of a bitch. 
Jesus! Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah. But you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub, in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. I shall deal with them, don't worry. I think I've missed the opportunity to save the hostages, but never mind. It's not really massively impactful on the game's story anyway, so... It's just the moral implications of it, you know? Looks like SWAT's got the go-ahead. Look at these purity first guys. These guys suck. They're getting decimated by SWAT. Look, there's one falling. He's done. He's done. I also love the fact they actually drop their uh, their weapons as if it was in game and I could interact with them. I wonder if I could actually go down there. If I took a different route, I'm not sure. Oh shit. Really need to stop running around corners. It's gonna cause me issues. Not gonna lie. Oh shit. Not gonna lie, but I'm fucking bad at this game. God damn the AI is brain dead. They just poke the fucking heads out. It's like they walk into a meat grinder. That's all they're doing. Actually, I wonder if I haven't missed the opportunity to save the hostages. Let me quickly check. Rescue Josie Thorpe. I'm gonna have a look for them. There's no one else in this room, so I can have a quick quick look around here. God, these disgusting tranquilizer darts. Get them out of my face. Alright. I know there was a vent there, I'm gonna check that in a minute. I just want to have a quick look around. I believe these stairs actually take you back up to where I just was. I think. Or not, I've just got a checkpoint. Yeah, no, we don't need to go through there just yet, because that is the end of the level. Let's see if I can get these hostages saved. If not, then we'll just we'll head back and uh, just finish the level, but... Yeah. Let's just take a quick look, you know? There's no harm in exploring. Let's see where this ends takes me. You never know, maybe this vent is just really convenient and will take me to where I need to go. Ooh, we're all ammo. Nom 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 nom. I'll take that. A beer. And beer is always nice. Pocket secretary. Back now to that breaking news coming out of Detroit. 
Okay, so we've already been here. I'm probably missing something really simple. That's usually the case. I don't want the episode to run on too long, so I think I'm just going to leave the hostages now. It is not a decision I make lightly. Okay. Yeah, let's just end the level. Don't lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're going to have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs. Trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hunter. I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta. I gotta check things out. So, Mia La Vieja, we're leaving. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and free Josie. I'm gonna try and be a. An upstanding citizen here. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead! Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right! I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady is my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with Oggs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what I must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? Uh, so we've got empathize, reason, or humble. I think it's reason, empathize, reason to actually uh, finish this dialogue tree. So I'm going to try this. You just think that taking a hostage is your only way out of here. You're so committed to that tactic, you're not seeing any other solution. Let her go, and you will. Sorry, but I got no choice. There's no way I could put my trust in you. You're on the same side as the cops. They got me completely surrounded and there's nothing I can do. I'm all alone in here. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. You're right. I'm not. One of your kind tricked my brother into manipulating me. And I have to make sure that they get what all kind openers deserve. I'm not wasting any more of my time arguing with you. Out of my way, freak. Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage. Just like he knew the cops would kill you for it. You're right. Damn! You know, he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. I thought I had to hear, but I can't afford to, can I? Go on, get out of here. You're free to go. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got Blade here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cabron. Yeah, well... Maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this. Someone's gonna pay. Keep looking! Adam! He's here somewhere! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. 
but I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. What about the hostages? Shouldn't I? There's nothing you can do, son. So I couldn't save them. Excuse me whilst I hack Access this. Granted. Okay, got some XP for that. So I saved the hostage. I saved one hostage at least. Could have saved a few more, but you know. Time constraints, you know. Put it away, sir. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Will you talk to me now? You're the Sarah security guy, right? The one we were delayed for? Hope you know those hostages are dead because of you and your boss. Well, these guys aren't too happy with me. Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. Now the bastard's free to spread his lies and cause more trouble. It's all a conspiracy, man. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just a little shaken up, but what about the other hostages? My husband was with them in one of the assembly labs, and I overheard talk about a bomb. I'm sorry. None of the other hostages survived. No. No. It can't be true. Where were the police? Why didn't they come in? They could have saved him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it all right. I know this is like supposed to be like a really sad moment, but this game doesn't really have the most lifelike character models. So she was supposed to be crying, but she was actually just sort of nodding and talking as if she was just having a normal conversation. That was kind of awkward, I'm not gonna lie. We have two practice points though, so we're going to go ahead and grab the Icarus landing system. Let's go ahead and grab that. Because it's just amazing. And then, after, actually after this level we can head to a limb clinic and buy some more practice points, so uh, we will be able to level up as well. So we can level up twice. Alright, let's go back, see Farida, and... Uh, Let's go. Not quite what you signed up for, is it, Jensen? Excuse me? Sneaking into your own factory to hide stuff while the boss holds the cops at bay? Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph. I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did too. I do. But things don't always go according to plan, Malik. I did what I could. I... I'm sure you did. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. All right, so that was the first level. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? I mean, being a cyborg's pretty badass. You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. 
Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Yeah, before we continue, I just want to say Adam's fucking jacket looks awesome. I love the pattern on the uh, on the shoulders there. I want that jacket. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first. Attack. I know that was completely Fine. irrelevant, but sorry. Ask away. Okay, let's ask about the attack. Uh, we've got the Mercs, Malik's account, the motive. Let's just go for Malik's account. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. Alright, so that was the first level. We've got to go and uh, give the Typhoon to Pritchard. But we'll probably do that in the next episode now because we've been recording for a while. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.